Hello world, Gregory here again, and today I'm going to tell you the story of how I became a front rocker kind of guy, a front rocker skater, and why to this day I remain a front rocker kind of guy. So let's dig right in. Um, I'm a fairly late bloomer to the world of skating at my ripe old age of 21, and my first skate um, a little over a year or so ago was the Rollerblade Macroblade 80. Um, it's a great beginner skate. It has a nice soft boot and a long frame for stability on those nice long, long rides. And it lets you skate comfortably while you're focusing on getting accustomed to the feeling of rolling while moving instead of walking or running. So, as I said before, this is the Macroblade 80. It did come with four 80 millimeter wheels. And after I had been skating on these for a handful of months, I decided I wanted to take a step up and feel as though I was progressing in my level of skill. So I wanted to take that, I wanted to take that step up and feel like, yes, I am, I'm becoming a better skater. My skill is, is, is now enhanced. So I decided getting bigger wheels would do the trick. <clears throat> also, I wanted to be able to skate more on different types of terrain outdoors. So bigger wheels, with bigger wheels, naturally you're going to be able to be more comfortable on more porous and rough surfaces. It's just like a big picture of big, big uh, truck wheel going over rocks and everything. You got little tiny wheels, like a little scooter. You're gonna run into said rock <laughs> and stop, you will. So what I did, I went out and with intention to replace my eight in total, 80 millimeter wheels with 84 millimeter sized wheels, I purchased the wheels, I came back, I started replacing each wheel and I get to wheel number eight. Yes, I know there's only four wheels here, but I have two skates and two times four is eight. But in my case, it ended up being seven. What the, that's bullshit. The reason being, when I got to the final wheel, all ready to replace, um, the screw head had become very, very stripped, and I kept trying and trying. And of course, when you when you start a conversation saying, "Hey, this screw is stripped," so I stripped, so I kept trying and trying and trying. That means you made it even worse, which I did. So this wheel never came off, and I decided I want to skate, and I do want to keep these new 84 millimeter wheels. I want to feel the feeling. I want to feel like I've graduated in my level of skill. So seven wheels remained and one did not. I went out and skated and I was like, wow, I can turn left a little bit easier. And oh, that's because this is the wheel that wasn't replaced. Er. So I went to my other skate and put the original 80 millimeter back on the front and <laughs> There you have it. That's the story of how I kind of incidentally became a front rocker kind of guy. So I was front rockering. I was rolling around on front rocker fitness skates. I know that sounds very strange. Yeah. Recreational skates with a front rocker. I had this set up for a handful of months and I became very, very comfortable with them. So what I, what I enjoyed the most, I would say, would be I still had the stability because I had this long, long recreational type skate frame. And then I had a little more maneuverability with regard to turning left or right while going forward um, because I had a smaller left or a smaller front wheel. Yeah, it's left. I have a smaller right wheel also, but they're both front. So it came time to graduate the skate. I had become as comfortable as I wanted to be in these skates before I decided to step my game up a little bit. And I got the SEBA 2017 model FR1s at Pro Rolicky in Kiev. Roman hooked me up. And I decided to transfer my same theory of front rockerism onto these skates. So on these skates, I immediately kept the 80 millimeter wheels that came with them. This hair was not included when I bought them. Anyways, uh, neither was this one. So I kept the three 80 millimeter wheels and replaced the front wheel on both skates, of course, with a smaller 76 millimeter size wheel. So this is my current setup. Some people make fun of me because they're not used to seeing the front rocker plus my cute little wheel. 
even um, at Dreamtown, one of the instructors said, why do you have only one wheel smaller? And he kind of laughed at me, but that's okay. Um, I'm used to it now. And for me, I really want to get into urban skating more. I'm kind of going into my reason of why I continue my front rockerism. Um, <clears throat> and what I find is, you know, you, you have a little bit of a loss of stability um, with when comparing it to just a flat setup. But with the smaller front wheel, I finally am nailing my power stops now. And of course, I attribute that also to the rigid, rigid boot. It's mostly because of the rigid boot. And it's it, this is more of a slalom slash urban skate. So if you're a beginner, especially, and trying to nail the hockey stop or, or power slide stop or whatever, the, the B stop with these skates, Good luck, it's not gonna happen. So I'm finally nailing the stop that everybody wants to do. And I don't even know what kind of stop I'm doing. It's like a combination sometimes, but I'm it's materializing quicker and so much more consistently than it ever has. I'm so happy with it. And part of that I attribute to my front rockerism, I think. Well, yeah, definitely, because you can turn quicker. So that's that's part of it. That's, that's part of the many um, many steps in that in that that movement. There's kind of a lot going on with that, really, when you break it down. <clears throat> Excuse me once again. So yes, um, not only the the out of maneuverability, but by keeping the rear wheel, I keep some of the stability. So it's kind of like I feel like I have the best the best of both worlds. <laughs> Jeez. Um, so I because when you're urban skating, so a lot of times you're going for long distances. So you still retain a lot of that stability um, as opposed to going to a full rocker setup. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to do that myself personally. Maybe I'm not advanced enough. Plus, a full rocker is not meant for going on long, long treks. In my opinion, it's more of a slalom setup. So I have the stability retainment and maneuverability. I mostly just skate frontwards. I don't really try to skate backwards when I'm out there doing urban skating. I'm not advanced enough to do it, and I really haven't put enough practice into doing that. That's actually the real reason shame on me so also another benefit that i'm finding out or uh with having the front rocker situation in an urban setting is multiple facets of altered terrains 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 so bumpy surfaces and uh it's it kind of gives you a leg up you know you're in your predator position the, the ready position as or predator position as, as sean calls it and over at shop task so that kind of helps with the altered terrain that you'll come across when you're urban skating. And if you're going urban skating into new areas, it's just a fact you're gonna go over some rough surfaces. Um, some are better than others. Some really shouldn't be skated on, but sometimes we do what we have to do to get to the other side and keep on going, you know? So um, anyway, yeah, um, this is my setup. I can't imagine myself going back to a flat setup. I am very comfortable with this and I like it for my type of skating, which is mostly urban, sometimes indoor. I like to fool around with the power slides. I'm not a, I don't do like, I don't try to do many slaloms, slalom tricks or anything. Sometimes I'll just do some drills for balancing purposes and just kind of try to tweak my abilities the, the best I can. Um, so that's my story. I hope you enjoyed it. You can laugh at it. You can cry. God, I hope you're not sad. Negrusty. Isn't that awesome? Woo! See you next time. Paka paka, mother. <laughs>